This is route form. It's a latching signal router for Eurex synthesizers. And it's an 8HP solution to routing signals throughout your system, controlled by gates or by triggers. Route 4 can take anything you throw at it. The module is separated into two parts, the top section and the bottom section. On the top we have four signal inputs mixed together into an output, and in the bottom one input is sent to up to four outputs. The inputs or outputs are activated using the control inputs. These take gates in gate mode or triggers in latch mode. We also see there's some normalization on the top we have a one volt normalization on every input and we have normalization of the output of the top section to the input on the bottom section. So in total route 4 consists of a 4 to 1 and a 1 to 4 router both with individual control inputs and individual mode switches and when combined using this normal path you get a 4 to 4 router where up to 4 signals are mixed and then sent to up to 4 destinations. The control inputs are used to enable or disable channels. Let's demonstrate. We patch in 5 volts and now channel 1 on the top section is active. If I unplug, go to the second one, now that one becomes active. Now these inputs, they feature smith action. So that means that they will always trigger reliably, even when putting in slow or noisy signals. Let's take the output of select two. And now you'll see that as I go to two volts, the channel goes off and at three volts, it goes on again. So we have this one volts threshold window and that makes for much more reliable control and of course we have plenty of LEDs that show you the status of the module in real time we've got an LED for each control input and we've got a red and blue bipolar LEDs which show you the actual voltage on the output sockets of the top section and the input socket of the bottom section. Now, how do these switches work? Uh, they are part of what makes Route 4 such a playable module. You'll see that in gate mode, you need to have an active gate on an input to enable it. If I switch to latch mode, the channel stays active as I remove the patch cable. And now I can turn on multiple channels and I can toggle them off. So right now the module is responding to rising edges to triggers rather than gates. If I go to solo mode, you'll see that every time I enable a new channel, the other channels will go off. And all of this is true for the bottom, where we find the exact same control inputs and the exact same switches. So both sections can be set up to be controlled differently. And of course, Route 4 provides reliable performance with just about any kind of signal you can throw at it. It has low noise for audio use, low DC offsets for pitch CV use, and it also performs great with gates, triggers, LFOs, any kind of modulation CV you can think of. Now let's move on and try some creative patching using Route4. 
In this batch, we will use Route 4 to create a 16-step sequence without actually using a CV sequencer. So in this batch, we use step 8, but it's not doing any CV sequencing. We start by clocking step 8 from contour 1, and we also ping filter 8 using contour 1. Take bandpass output into delay 1, and that goes to the output. Now let's take the output of the top section of Route 4 and patch that into the volt per octave input of filter 8. And now we take different gate outputs of different stages on step 8 and patch those into the control inputs. And now you already hear that on step 1 the pitch goes up by 1 octave thanks to the 1 volt normalization on these uh, routing inputs. If I patch in more, you'll hear that there's several steps where the pitch goes up. If we go to latch mode, the pitch goes up by one octave and then stays there every time it hits one of these steps. We can also take manual voltage from SELECT2 into the 4 channel and let's assign a step to that one as well. Simply by playing with the switches we get different melodies. Route 4 is also a great tool for routing audio throughout your rec system. We take three harmonic channels from Generate 3 into three routing inputs on the top of Route 4. The result goes into Bias 2 for some attenuation and then into Filter 8. We also take the core output of generate 3. Patch that into filter 8 and let's listen to the low pass output. Next we'll use some contour ones. The two on the right are synchronized to the master on the left using their trigger inputs. And then we use these outputs, for example, to step step 8, play a sequence, and the other outputs. We can use to control these routing inputs. Let's add an envelope.
course, route for happily switches at audio rates as well. Let's explore the bottom section of Route 4. We take Contour 1, Clock Step 8, use the Scan Output as a CV sequence, and the Step Output to Pluck Delay 1. And we have a Car Plus Strong sequence. Now we can send this sequence to the input of the bottom section of Route 4 and we have four assignable outputs. We'll send one through Fold 6, another one through Filter 8, the third one through Enhance 2 and the fourth one through our second Delay 1. And then we take all of these outputs and we mix them together into more four. Now if we listen to the add outputs on more four, We can add more and more effects by patching switch 4 outputs into the control inputs of Route 4. And now we have four effects on this car plus strong in parallel. And simply by turning on different channels of Route 4, we have a lot of control over our parallel effect chain. Next, let's use Route 4 to route some modulation signals throughout the system. We take the output of uh, Contour 1 to clock step 8, simply being used as a CV sequencer. We take the scan output, send that to the 
the routing input on RoutForce bottom section. And that also goes to the voltproctive of filter 8. Now if we listen to filter 8 as it's being pinged, Now we can send these filter pings through a pair of uh, delay ones. Now we can modulate some of the parameters using route for. Let's first feed it some control signals. And of course we don't need to use gates and triggers directly. We can also use some LFO signals, which Route4 will cleanly transform into gates. We've got two periodic signals from Generate3. And we can also use a little bit of chaos from Orbit3. Let's modulate the time on the first delay one. We can modulate feedback as well. And we can do the same for the second delay one. Now as I change the frequencies of our modulators we can get some interesting results. Of course, the mode switches also give a level of uh, performability. We can make this periodic using the reset features on both Orbit and Generate 3. So we send an output of Contour 1 into Link 2 multiples and that goes to all of the reset inputs. Alternatively, we can simply take the first step of step 8 and now we create a period that's equal to 8 steps.
or 16 steps, depending on the setting of the gate latch switch. Let's use Route4's bottom section to distribute pitch CV information throughout the system. We patch a few voices, for example, we take an even output of one generator tree, take the odd output of another, we can take an output of orbit tree, and we'll use uh, one delay one as a car plus strong voice. Next we patch up some envelopes. We melt the scan output of step and we're going to use it for two things. We'll send it to the bottom section of Route 4 and we also use it as a trigger source for two of our envelopes. And of course, delay one. Now, every time. The sequence voltage is high enough, we will trigger the two envelopes and delay one. We'll add a little bit of delay to the mix. to add some sonic interest. Now it's time to distribute our CVs. So we'll send one of the routing outputs to each of the volt per octave inputs of our voices. Now it's time to add some control. And for this we're going to use the different outputs of MORPH 4. Now since MORPH 4 has a 5 volt normalization on all of its channels by default, we can use the MORPH feature. to enable or disable the CV information being sent to our different voices. Once again, playing with the switches, 
yields even more variation. Of course, we can also use Route 4 to distribute triggers around the system. We take the step output of step 8 that goes into the input of the bottom section. And the outputs then go to the ping of filter 8. And we will also trigger our three contour ones. We'll set one short, one longer, another one even longer still. And we are going to mix our different sounds into more four. For our control inputs, we're going to use generate 3. Let's take the full output that goes into compare 2. And now compare 2 is changing this complex waveform coming out of generate 3 into sets of gates and triggers. Let's patch these into the control input. And now all that's left is to clock step 8. Let's add some pitch modulation to our filter.
can get some very interesting rhythms this way. Simply by changing the mode switches on Route 4 and the parameters on Compare2. I hope you enjoyed this uh, brief look at uh, Route 4, our latching signal router for Eurorack. If you'd like some more information about the module, please take a look at our website, uranalog.com. A link will be in the description of the video, where you can also find the full user manual with um, full information on how the module works and some more creative patching ideas. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Take care and see you next time.